Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on Exodus chapter 33, starting at verse 12. The Israelites have received their punishment, uh, or the word of their punishment from God, with these words from verse 3. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, lest I consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. The Lord says that he cannot be around these people who have sinned in such a way uh, because his glory, his righteousness, would consume them and kill them. So he will have them depart from his presence, but he will still uphold that he, uh, this promise that he had given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that they would possess this land. He would still uphold that promise, but would not go with them. Moses will see this as a problem, and we'll read about what he says to, to God about that. Moses said to the Lord, See you say to me, Bring up this people. But you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me now your ways, that I may know in you in order to find favor in your sight. Consider too that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not in your going with us that we are distinct, I and your people, from every other people on the face of the earth? Moses intercedes for the, the uh, nation, saying, Lord, if we are to be your people, you must be amongst us. Uh, we cannot be your people if you do not walk with us. Moses is asking that the Lord forgive the people for what they have done and restore them to being the people of God. The Lord is not leaving them, but rather they have left the Lord. Remember, they worshipped another god. Uh, God fashioned by their own hands. So Moses is asking for an atonement for their sins, that God would go with them again, showing them to be God's people, distinct, separated, shown to be the holy nation of the Lord. Verse 17. And the Lord said to Moses, This very thing that you have spoken I will do, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you my name, the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. If you're looking at your text there in that verse where he says, I will proclaim before you my name, the Lord, you'll notice probably that the Lord is using all caps where the, it's a big L, and then a smaller, but still capitalized, O-R-D. Whenever you see this in the Bible, that's referring to the word Yahweh, or that word that means I am who I am, that Moses received there at the burning bush. So here the Lord is saying, I will proclaim who I am, because I am who I am. What I have said what is what I will do. I will be with my people. Verse 20. But he said, you cannot see my face, for man shall not see me and live. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock. And while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. So, Moses intercedes for the people and says, Lord, forgive us. Draw us nearer to you so that we may enter into the land of milk and honey and be your people. The Lord agrees and says, this is who I am and who I said I am and will make atonement for his people and walk with them again, showing to them his glory and uh, his presence. And specifically here, we see that Moses asked to see his glory and the Lord is going to make a moment in this time to pass before Moses to show his righteousness and glory. We'll pick up next time with Exodus chapter 34. As always, please subscribe to the channel and share this with others so that they may also read the Bible with Pastor.